footprint. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company. The Dominus Project. Good, good. Oh, shit. I gotta remember this is Borderlands, and it's not gonna do dialogue per dialogue, it's gonna like cut itself off. I'm sorry about that. I believe I found a way to temporarily charm a hostile creatures, and even human. <laughs> the Mentus Dominion, or Mentomans to keep it simple, are a unique species of parasitic body which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of That sounds like a government tool for, like, world domination. A little bit. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm level 60 now. Alright, so... What can I do, really? Not much, is there? What's that do? Whenever I deal splash damage, I deal bonus incendiary damage. It's only by 3%. But that would stack up to be like, what, 15% at max? So 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15? Hmm. So there's nothing I want from any of this stuff. But that's only when I deal splash damage, so that's using explosive weaponry. I suppose, though, if I could get this SMG in a fire elemental, this thing would be fucking decimating to shit. Alright, so is there anything down here, or is this a side quest? Yeah, I'm assuming something big comes out of that, and this is a side quest or some shit. I just don't know about yet. Alright, fair enough. Come check it out on me off time. I'm gonna do it right away. That and I'm lazy. I want stuff to do off screen. I might, yeah, I was gonna say, I've gotta fiddle with these things, don't I? Oh, so am I just placing the thing and nothing else? Alright. Simple enough. One more, it can't be that easy. There's gotta be more than that. I was gonna say, please tell me you can jump up that. Good thing I parked I am my so off happy. time. Jesus Christ. Hey, what's up, Payne? How's it going, man? Good to see you. you. Scared the fuck out of me. My alerts are so goddamn loud. And I'm wearing headphones, so that doesn't help. Gosh. How you doing? Sorry I'm not playing Neo. I'm trying not to, like, burn myself out on Neo 2. I'm gonna get back into it when the, uh, DLC drops. Is this on PS4? Yeah, it is. It's on PS4 Pro, actually. Not that it makes a difference, because PS4 Pro is shite in itself. But... What? Alright. So I'll just hop up here. How's your day going, Payne? Were you hanging out with Poofy earlier? I assume you were. Luffy was playing Doom though, wasn't he? There's one more step. Come here. This is uh this is the new Borderlands DLC. Um I haven't seen anything on this, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is all brand spanking new. Good to see you though. Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you're uh, keeping yourself busy. Oh I see, okay, alright. Fair enough. Alright. Am I supposed to use this thing? Alright. What, am I supposed to go down there in the pit with it? Oh, never mind. Curious if they've fixed the in-game menu lag, because that was prevalent in launch. No, it's still very much there. It's still very much there. 
Oh, yeah. Like, if you want to see it, like, the menu lag is still, like, it's... Like, mm, It's there in doses. I think it's tied to frame rate. Like, whenever the frame rate drops, then that's the issue with it. So am I just killing all these fucking idiots, or what? No, no, I got it. I caught on. Quite fast. Really wish they'd quit jumping fucking point-blank range like that. This is a very good-ass SMG. Yeah, but the menu lag is still very much there. It's still very much prevalent. And they did say they were going to try and work on it, but... Whatever work they've done is not sufficient enough, but hopefully they'll work on it a little bit more. Yeah, they still haven't fixed it. I, I honestly think it's due to the frame rate. I think it's tied to the frame rate. Alright, thanks for your help, Granny. Find the train. Alright, do I hop up that way? No, because that's where the enemies come from, so... I'm assuming I just have to follow her. I don't know, though. I'm not entirely sure. I'll figure it out, but... No, there's got to be a way here. There's got to be a way. No, I can't shoot that, alright. Then I'm assuming I can't shoot that one either. So am I going through the cave or what? I was thinking of buying this game since I have almost 400 hours in Borderlands 2. That should annoy me the most since players are expected to check weapons constantly. Uh, yeah, it's you don't have to keep your weapons super updated in this one, really. But... Um, yeah, the menu lag is definitely fucking annoying. It's really off-putting, but... I think I can get in there. Oh shit, am I supposed to get in here? Am I daft? I'm daft. Alright. Farewell. Good enough. Chest, box, 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 box. Box. Uh, yeah, Borderlands 3, though, the story is shit. Without spoiling anything, you're not gonna enjoy the story. I can guarantee you that. The gameplay, though, is very much improved. The gameplay is amazing compared to the other ones. A lot of quality of life improvement, that sort of thing. Well, these are platforms, are they? Alright. Watering hole. So, I was gonna say, I'm assuming I can go in here, yeah? Side pocket area? You always want to go through the side pocket areas, because that's where all the cool shit is. Hydro what? God damn, that melts shit if you can fucking get crit spots. Good lord. I do kind of wish it was automatic fire, but I understand also why it isn't. Alright, well, whatever I was supposed to kill, it's dead as fuck. God damn, this SMG is fucking potent as fuck. Oh hey, it's a better version of this SMG that I'm already using, except it's corrosive. And a gunnerang, yeah. <laughs> the weapon everybody wants. Kids will be fucking ecstatic if they get a gunnerang under their Christmas tree, won't they? From Borderlands Santa. What's in there? Nothing, alright. Just made it look like there was something in there. Uh, yeah, there's true Vault Hunter mode, yeah. And then there's uh, something called Mayhem, instead of... Having the uh, OP levels like they did in Borderlands 2, where it was like obscenely unbalanced, they did something called Mayhem levels, which are adjustable at your leisure, so you can kind of... Um, you can kind of adjust them however you like, whatever's comfortable for you, whatever challenge you want, like however challenging you want to make it. Nice roll. Right, this is kind of hard to murder people with, but it's still really good if you can get crits. It's just not very good without the crits. Also that, and it's corrosive, so it's not very good for people. Pistol? Is 
certainly did, didn't I? Oof. God damn. Alright, I gotta use these stupid new things often, or more often anyway. Thirsty for a turn in. I have a feeling I shouldn't be under this massive fucking train. That does seem a little daft. Maybe I should get out of it. Probably a smart idea, in it. Fucking moron. But this game lets you have multiple skills instead of being just one, like in previous games. Yeah, if you want kind of an explanation of how it works, um, each top tier skill is an action skill, really. So, m for example, most the character I'm playing, uh, all these different skill trees cater to different builds, but you can mix and combine them however you want. And, uh, you can have two different action skills. So, it's, it's like, you, you get your main action skill, but then you can equip different weapons for the, uh, mech, right? So, this is a grenade launcher, this is a rail gun, and these are machine guns. And you can either have two machine guns equipped, or you can have a machine gun and a rocket launcher, or a machine gun and a laser, or two lasers, or two rocket launchers, whatever you want to do, really. Um, it's not as cool as it sounds. It limits the gameplay a lot, and, uh, the fact that they're not adding new Vault Hunter characters kinda sucks ass, in my opinion. And, uh, they're under the impression that people would play the new Vault Hunters and then go back to whatever their main is. And that is true for some people, but, like, it's just so much replay value to have entirely new characters to play. And I don't think they understand just how much replay value that provides. And I hope they change their mind down the line and they add new Vault Hunter characters. But, like, yeah, the quality of life of Borderlands in this game is vastly improved compared to the uh, first one and the second one. This has every improvement from two compared to one and then some. And it's, it's much better in my opinion. The, the only really big downside to this game is the story's absolute fucking garbage. The story's so terrible. It's just not good. I, I can't lie about it. It's not good at all. Now, I'll help all these people on my off time. I really don't give a shit about them right now. I'll do it all later. Oh, options. Yeah, it's, you, you get options. Basically, yeah. Alright, there's nothing over here. I'm just wasting my time. Miss Slag Elemental? I don't. It, it's very good to have it removed rather than keep it in. The Slag Elemental was fucking bullshit. It's just like in later game cycles, you basically had to implement it, and if you didn't, everything was just insanely unfair. And crazy brutal. But yeah, there's no slag elemental anymore. I think it's a positive, honestly. Alright, so obviously I'm supposed to go this way, so... Nothing? This does seem a little bit hidden, though. Yeah, it's, it's when those fucking explosives start going off, that's when the damage pumps in. This is a very good-ass SMG. I just wish it was fully automatic. If it was fully automatic, that'd be nice. Have they retained grinders from pre-sequel? No, they have not. They did away with grinders. But the loot feels changed, if that makes sense. Like, the, the rarity scale feels a bit changed. So it's, you don't really need grinders, and like the farming is so efficient in this one that you don't really need it. And they made farming so much more bearable in this one compared to the other ones too. So it's like, it's kind of unnecessary to have grinders in, if that makes sense. Not exactly like it would have been a bad thing to keep them in, but... Is there anything down there? This looks like playable area. Yeah, it is. I've already been down this bit though, it would appear. Alright. I'm gonna just head back up. Or am I supposed to... No, I think I'm supposed to go down that bit. Or that loot mist will be given back in the base? Yes. Um, that's why they did away with grinders. Um, anything you can't pick up and keep in your inventory, uh, you can go back and get pretty much any time you want. And you can just drop whatever you don't want to have at that point in time and pick it up as you see fit. That kind of thing. Uh, what? What am I supposed to be looking for here? Like, I'm obviously supposed to be looking for Summit, but... 
Oh, I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking for it at. So I can't go down that way. Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to go down this bit, twat. Alright, that makes sense. New area? Yeah, this seems new. Alright. Let's do it then. Fuck. I moved way too far away from that. This is a good ass SMG for Moe's. I think it's because she regenerates ammo as she fires. The one thing I will say about the characters in this game, they don't have a lot of differentiation. They really don't feel like they have that much differentiation. And that, that kind of does hamper the experience a little bit. But it's a good game overall. It's very good. The bosses in this one are so much cooler compared to the old games as well. The bosses actually have dynamics to them now. And they're actually really fun to fight. They're very individual feeling. That is one of the big commendations I will give it. Are you looking forward to Neo 2 DLC? I'm gonna do that shit with low level weapons, so if you wanna watch me suffer, I'm gonna be doing Neo 2 DLC blind with low level weapons. Although I'm gonna give uh, people like uh, Sons and Poofer and Bra the time to go through it themselves before I do it. So that way they can all come and watch me fucking suck ass and get my ass kicked, not knowing what's coming, that kind of thing, not knowing how the bosses work. Should be a lot more enjoyable, I think. Because I don't want any spoilerinos on it. I want to go at, like, totally bare bones. And I'm going to do it with low-level gear. Because, like, I know you've seen me get my ass kicked in Neo 1 before, but Neo 2, I had, like, 25 deaths the whole game. And I was really disappointing, because I thought I would get ass-fucked a hell of a lot more. So I just, I don't want to go through the DLC of Neo 2 as easily as I went through the base game, if that makes sense. Level 1 Divines on Dream of the Strong? Yeah. Um, they might not be level 1, so I might use like level 30s or something like that, but they will be like low level weapons. And it depends on what the level synchronicity is. Because, like, if I go into the DLC and I'm, like, level 300 and you're supposed to be level 200, I will use level 1s. Like, undoubtedly. I don't want to melt the DLC. That's what I'm worried about. I want what carries me through the DLC to be my skill and my adaptation and my knowledge of how to play the game comparatively to what I knew before. Rather than just relying on pure damage to get me through it, that kind of thing. God damn, this SMG is sexy. It's not insanely overpowered, but it, it does efficient damage. I didn't wait long enough. Is this a special? Yeah, I was gonna say, is this a special dude? Because he seems like a special dude. Double penetrating gratifying spade. Lucille God gave me a gift. Gyro jets penetrate targets, leaving sticky bombs on all enemies they pass through. Ooh, that sounds neat. Everyone gonna OP level with their OP weapons in the DLC? That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want to, like, rinse the DLC and have it be super simple. Because that'll just be boring for people to watch. Ooh, fuck me. Oof, that's a lot of explosives. Holy Christ. That's a lot of projectiles for an explosive Torg shotgun. Also, it's incredibly accurate. I like that a lot. This weapon's gonna be beastly, I can already tell. This seems to be a new weapon as well. So I gotta really keep in mind where I get these weapons from. So let me write down Spade Hayden Hurl. There we go. Red Text Legendary? Yeah. Um, the Legendaries in Borderlands uh, 3, like I was saying earlier with the loot system, it's a little bit refined. So Legendaries are not as rare as they used to be, but they're still decently rare. 
But the higher mayhem level you play on, uh, the better your chance of getting them, of course. Look at- holy shite! Holy shite! Fucking look at it go! Christ on a bike! Jesus, man. These guys have shields and shit. Fucking wow. Lord above. <laughs> this weapon is sick. I knew it'd be good. I'm not even running splash mows and this thing's fucking crazy. Jesus, dude. My most is like built for incendiary, but like this gun might actually make me want to play uh, splash mows. This is fucking nuts. This is a great shotgun. I'm loving this. This thing does great damage. Get off me, you fucking prick. Dickhead. As expected from a torque shotgun? Well, this one, like, comparatively. Like, this one, definitely. This one is fucking balls. Like, this thing annihilates stuff. I was hoping he would say a little bit of extra oomph. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Can't even compete. Look how I shoot people with this and all you hear is like nothing but screaming. It's good shit. I can't get up there, can I? That's unfortunate. Maybe I can take a uh, bouncy pad to get up there or some shit. Yeah? Yeah. Right? No, there's a bomb up there. I have to be able to get up there. Maybe I go around. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is, you know. Nothing? Alright. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Yeah, but hopefully you're doing well, Pain. Good to see you. I do want to get back on Neo, because I still have a few weapons to run through with. I tried doing Axe, and I got to um the uh, shooting doji map, and I just I gave up on Axe. I can't do Axe for shit. Um, Tomfa. If you haven't seen my Tomfa play yet, I learned Tomfa insanely well. Um, I'm really good with Tomfa. I'm still trying to learn the Kanagi timings for a lot of shit, but I'm very good with Tomfa now. Wonder if they have retained the infamous B shield from the city. No. Yeah, it's mandatory in higher difficulties. Yeah. Um, you don't get the B shield in this one. They realize their mistake. There are amp shields, but there's nothing like the B shield. Hey. Okay. Oh, it's a skin. I already have it. That's unfortunate. Also, there isn't pearlescence in this one, from what I can tell yet. And I don't think they're going to add them. Because I'm sure if they were going to add them, they would have added them with this DLC. So, I'm assuming, like, it's just gonna be legendaries for rarity scale. And they're just gonna keep adding new legendaries, and I think that's how they're going about it. And some legendaries are just better than other ones. Because, I mean, if we face it, the majority of the legendaries were fucking dog shit anyway. Like the bear cat and shit was all nonsense. Damn! That bitch is super fucking dead. Um... I can't go anywhere down there. So I obviously have to go up this train car bit, but I don't know how. So I can't slide under that. Oh, I see. Alright, gotcha. Freight container. Interesting map design. It's pretty neat. I like that. It's pretty cool. You are super dead. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. If this comes in a fire elemental, I'm gonna be doing so much fucking damage. Jesus Christ, that is brutal. This gun's sick. I think this is one of my favorite new legendaries of the DLC. The spade shotgun is fucking retarded. Yeah, especially on the crits. 
Get off me. I like your mask though. Okay, so I can go down here. Alright, but... I obviously have to get up there somehow, and I don't know how to get up there. So, what does it expect me to... I can't jump that. There's no fucking way in hell I'm jumping that. Oh, I gotta get up there like this. Alright, that makes a little bit more sense. If I'm thinking about it. Alright. Wish I wasn't retarded, but I am, so here we are. Hello? What's this? Nothing. What? What it- Says there's a thing! Maybe it's down further. Her lessons were not that good. Yeah, her lessons were pretty shit. Endgame stuff was typically, uh, uncamped heralds and crap like that anyway. Uh, and some uniques. Oh, do I gotta go hit this crystal again? Oh, for the bombs. Ah. The explosion echoed through the forest, and old Devil Riders didn't even get a chance to hit the brakes. So I'm going down here, I assume. Oh shit! Fucking hell. How the fuck? I don't know how I'm meant to get over there. That's gotta be where the secret thing is. That's gotta be where the secret thing is. I just don't know how to get to it. Or cool, maybe I'll check that out off screen. There's gotta be like some sort of secret over there that I just missed or something because I was too stupid. Hello? Oh my god train crash fucking ruined everybody. They did get, like, slammed through an obsidian wall, though, into a pool of acid, to be fair. Too and burned out by Neo 2, giving it time for the DLC, currently playing Devil May Cry 5 for the action game itch? Yeah. Um, my buddy Stay Plus, I don't know if you know who Stay Plus is, he doesn't stream anymore, but, uh, he was kind enough to send me his PS3. So, um, I'll get a PS3 here soon enough, and then... PS3 doesn't have HDMI output, like, it has HDMI, but it doesn't have, like, the, uh, HDCP option to be able to turn off, so... I'm, uh, going to have to get a splitter for it, but I'll play through all the old God of War games. That'll be fun. Uh-oh. Is that just ominous whistleage, or...? Hello? Bellic Primus, hardcore, okay. Hi. Oh shit, we'll run! Dumbass. Uh. Ooh. I got hit by some of those, that's alright. Oh shit, you're fucking big. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, fuck off. That's alright, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Can't do shit, sucks. Yeah, it sucks, can't do anything. Oh yeah, it can, shit. Keep my fucking mouth shut. Oh wow, look at the damage, look at the damage, look at the damage, look at the- dead. Fucking dead as hell. New weapons? Yes, please. Yeah, because Sony is assholes and they didn't do backwards compatible God of War 3. Or, uh, all the God of Wars. Um, basically I'm stuck with having to get a PS3 so I can play all of them. And, uh, Demon Souls Remake is coming out, which has me incredibly excited. Mmm, that's a cramp. Fuck's sake. Alright, well, I can get rid of my level 57 shit, because I'm just gonna have to refarm it anyway, for the most part. So I'm not exactly super worried about that. Um. 
get rid of one of one or two of those. Hmm. Shocker, I'll get rid of. All right, what have we got? A crediting beacon. This little light of mine. Reloading triggers a nova of the current element. Okay, this probably isn't the best weapon for Moe's, but... Spooling Chandelier. This is a new one as well. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really a fan of Molly One shotguns, typically, but... That's cool. Couple new legendaries. Alright. Was hoping this game to add dashes. Movement feels rigid. Um, it adds, um, slides. So this game has slides, rather than dashes or, like, short bursts or anything like that. But, um, if you had a skill where, like, um, Amara, the melee character, gets a skill where she can run and punch, like, into things, if they would add something like that for every character as just a staple, that'd be nice. Alright, well he is super fucking dead. Alright. I didn't expect that to be a boss, I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't too complicated for a boss, but alright. Hmm. Alright. I do have an explosive torque shotgun, you're aware of this, yeah? Just killed that fucking weird four-legged cunt with it. I might as well get some ammo while I'm here. Yeah, so what most can do, she has the giant um, metal bear mech, and she regenerates ammunition. But uh, there's two ways you can play Moe's. You can either play her splash damage for explosives, or you can play her for incendiary damage for fire stuff. And I play incendiary Moe's, so all the explosive stuff I'm using could be like probably five or six times better than what it is. But yeah, I'm staying clear of Neo 2. I helped Corson through his first playthrough and his second playthrough for uh, New Game Plus. Uh, for Way of the Strong, and um, I'm waiting until DLC to play Neo 2 again. I'm just completely burnt out of it until there's new bosses to fight, new areas to explore and shit like that. New weapons and shit to get. Still haven't added teleport to base. Would have made running back tedious much smoother. Oh, they do have teleport to base, Pain. They do. Uh, I'll show you, like, the new features I can think of offhand, if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, like, mechanically, for combat, you have the sliding and shit like that. And, uh, the gunplay's a lot smoother, it feels like, honestly. Um, you got the new, like, weapon tree loadouts. Instead of using relics, you use these things now. They're called artifacts. Um... You still get the four weapon slots. You can add trinkets to your weapons now for further customization. Uh, shit like that. They don't do different things, unfortunately. That'd be kind of cool, but I feel like that would make it too RPG-based. Um, all the skills um, are pretty much self-explanatory. You know how those work. Uh, these are different mini-actives. So you can set these, and they affect whatever your main weapon is, for example. Um, I'm using machine guns, so if I have this equipped... Minigun deals more damage as heat increases and can be fired for longer before e overheating. It's a really good combo. Um, so you can customize this shit differently, and you can only set the uh, augments for whatever skill is equipped. For example, I can't use this augment on a rocket launcher or anything like that. So th this is tied to machine guns. Uh, this is tied to the sprayer nozzle. This allows your mech to move quicker and shit like that. Uh, different little augmentations for different things. Uh, grenade mods? Yeah, grenade mods stand largely unchanged. Uh, this is really cool. So you remember the badass ranks in Borderlands 2 that did, like, literally nothing, pretty much? Um, 
the badass ranks in this actually do shit. So, like, for example, um, excess damage from a kill is added to your next shot. Uh, damage dealt while in fight for your life restores your meter. Restoration amount is decreased over time. Slam can now be used at the peak height of your jump. It's really cool, and there's, like, different skin unlocks, and you can get different head customizations and shit. It's it's pretty neat. So that's the new uh, badass rank system. This is the mayhem shit I was talking about. You can change it at any time, but if you change it, it'll have to reload the map unless you're in the hub area. And then um, for teleportation and efficiency, you can pretty much teleport anywhere you want um, as long as you have a fast travel station unlocked. So for example, see how I'm right here, right? Like this is where I am player-wise. If I wanted to teleport all the way over here, I could do it instantly if I wanted to. So you, you you do get like little saving graces like that to keep you from uh, having to run all the way back and shit. So it's really nice. So like I said, the quality of life is vastly improved compared to the old ones. Why is this thing moving so slow? This thing is like definitely drugged out or something. There we go. Now it's moving like normal. That was weird. Those armored pricks are really tough. The people on them aren't, but the actual dinosaurs themselves, the armored ones, are pretty tough. At least with explosive shit. Alright. Always hated badass ranks to be very minimalist, yeah. This, I felt like they could have done more with it, and I feel like they hit a really positive balance with the new uh, incorporation of them. But yeah, like, all this shit is brand new. This isn't base game, this is DLC stuff. But, uh, the base game of this is... decently long. I'd say it's pretty worth it. I wouldn't say the story is worth the $60 price point, but if you can find this game for, like, 30 bucks, do it. Or, uh, whatever, uh... I don't know what Arabic currency is. I assume it's, like, ruples or something like that? I don't know. But if, if you can find this for, like, half price, I would, I would recommend doing it. And, uh, the DLC this time around is a little bit strange, but this is the best DLC out of all of them so far, I think. It feels like it has the most flavor to it. Well, that's cool. I can use this with my mech. Interesting. That's neat. I didn't know it worked like that. I thought it would only have the effect if I was out of the mech. Cool. Alright, that's good to know. But yeah, this is definitely the coolest DLC out of all of them so far, I believe. Oh, this is where this bit comes in. Gotcha. Alright. I was here earlier. Yeah, see, these things get decimated quick enough, but like the armored dinosaurs are a little bit tough to take down. Oh yeah, that's right, the shots penetrate through enemies, I forgot about that. I do wish I could get, like, an extended magazine for this, though. If I could get an extended magazine for this instead of having to constantly reload it all the time, that'd be nice. Oh yeah, there- oh yeah, there we go, okay. Alright, I know how to use this gun now. I just gotta hop in the mech and then hop out of the mech, and then I can go absolutely fucking ham with it. Forgot about that. Only PSN stores would give discounted sales as often as Steam- yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Although, I never really take advantage of PSN scales. I'm one of those weird people that like all my shit digitally, or uh, physically rather than digitally. That kind of thing. Alright. Go 
I get some sort of power that enables me to use it? Hello, Zapper. Hey, what's up, Roy? How's it going? Speaking of which, Payne shows up and then Roy shows up. Yeah. Weird, right? Oh yeah, by the way, guys, um, I forgot to mention, um, I have a new emote on the way. So if we meet the new sub goal, which is like 25, I think. What just happened? Did I teleport? I can just teleport? <laughs> 